Well, for more than a month now, supporters of illegal immigration in the state of Oregon have decided to halt the enforcement of immigration law by harassing the people who are tasked with enforcing it. Activists engaged in an Occupy ICE protest at one of the agency's facilities in Oregon. They finally left, but they left a gigantic pile of garbage to remember them by. Here it is. Where protesters once stood, trash now litters the property next to the ICE building on McAdam. Protesters left this behind. Work trucks packed to the brim with everything from food to furniture, cardboard signs, and wooden pallets. A TriMet official told Fox 12 workers even found needles on the ground. Cameron Witten attended and slept overnight at the Occupy ICE camp in Portland. He joins us tonight. Cameron, thanks a lot for coming on. Tucker, it's good to see you again. So it's nice to see you. So is this a foretaste of what we can expect if the revolution actually happens? So you guys take over well, and leave piles of garbage. Why would this reassure anybody watching at home that activists like yourself should have any power over anything? Thank you for that question. So first, what I want to do is celebrate this uh, successful display of grassroots people-powered change. Uh, what happened here was Occupy ICE, both here in Portland and across the country, sent a powerful message about the economic and humanitarian crisis that has been created by family separation and other harmful immigration policies. We garnered the support but of four let me ask you a former question. first know, ladies, it's, it's, and we were able to right. no, I know successfully the first push side, the U.S. president to change a part of a draconian okay. immigration policy. And well, there's more work that needs to be done but, wait, but hold to on, wait, hold demand on, change. Slow down, Cameron, I know you're excited about this. Hold on. Why couldn't you use that people power you're telling me about to pick up the garbage before you left? How does that work? You mobilize, you've got a mass movement, right, of engaged yeah. people who want to yeah. make America better, but you leave yeah. beer bottles and hypodermic needles behind. Yeah. Is that really the kind so, of change most people Tucker, want? I don't think so. No, Tucker, it's a what serious I call question. This like, is why didn't you clean up when you left? Because can we talk it's about what's it's important right question. now about what's the important is not of living American in a trash people? heap? So, well, Tucker, look, honestly, I feel like what you're doing is you're sincere. avoiding the conversation. I'm, why, I'm not avoiding, why are we here? Avoiding the conversation. No show okay. addresses this topic more often and more directly than this one does. But I'm an okay. American. I was born here. I have a family. Okay. I don't want to live in a place that looks like Tegucigalpa. And you, I don't. I don't think anyone, anyone does, including immigrants. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying, okay. if you are setting a model for the rest of us, why the hell were you living like animals? It's, that's a totally real question. What's the answer? And then we'll move on once you answer it. How's that? So we are living in a time of crisis in the United States, and I am so thankful that there are people who are demanding change. And you know what? Uh, you, you, what we're dealing with right now is a crisis, and we cannot sit here and cast blame for uh, certain individual actions. You cannot take certain individual actions and then dismiss why we are here. Stop distracting from the message. The I'm message that we are focusing me, on I'm right now dismissing. is look, the question look, you've got of whether talking immigration's got some— want to read. Okay, okay. But okay, I, so, look, Tucker, well, since is, I thought you were a smart person, but let me, no, this let me talk central. to you in your terms. Well, this is central to the point. No, no. So this is let me talk to, to you in your terms, You're Tucker. telling me so you're making America we have better, an annual, but you so make let's it say worse. You have an annual, let's say you have an annual family barbecue, and your brother-in-law shows up drunk. Do you cancel the whole barbecue? Mm -hmm. No. So what we're talking about right now is that there was a protest where people weren't just camping outside. People across oh, the country, I'm sorry, you lost the metaphor They were not camping in the streets. What we're talking about is the message of this movement. And who but there's immigration not just, customs it's, enforcement it's, and Trump's I, I, where harmful you, where immigration you guys policies learn accountable. This? Look, I, okay, I'm not going to agree with what everybody did. Word, I'm not agree with what everybody did, okay. and I'm sure that you don't agree with every you conservative with everybody and their did. actions, what they say. Okay, but, but what you know I, what do I don't agree with regardless is the message of why okay. we are here, and we cannot you know ignore the fact up. that Trump's you you policies over are not beyond reproach. That we have to demand change, and we have to do drastic things, as Trump said. You're making me give up. You're too obnoxious. I can't handle it. Okay. Thanks, Cameron. I don't think you did yourself or your cause any help at all, but maybe you did. Maybe there's someone watching you think, you know, that, that Cameron guy, the guy who left all the beer bottles and the hypodermic needles, I like him. I'm on his side now. Maybe there's someone like that. Call me if you exist. Well, a basic principle of Anglo-American civilization is that everybody is treated equally before the law, no matter who you are, no matter what your political views are. Now, the left is willing to jettison that ancient principle to protect people who shouldn't be here in the first place. 
During the month-long occupation of ICE, the mayor of Portland, Ted Wheeler, announced he supported the protesters and refused to have the police intervene against them. Here's what he said. I stand with those who are opposed to the forced separation of children from their parents. I've consistently stated that I do not want the Portland Police Bureau engaged in securing federal property that houses a federal agency with its own federal police force. So here's the numb of it. Here's the detail that makes you worried that maybe we're moving towards some kind of civil conflict. Maybe things really are coming apart. The police in Portland, Oregon, which is a big modern city, refused to even answer the 911 calls from the occupied building. That means this, this local police refused to protect American citizens because they didn't agree with their politics. Now the National ICE Council has sent a cease and desist letter demanding that their right to protection, which is afforded to all Americans, be preserved. Brandon Judd is president of the National Border Patrol Council and he joins us tonight. So, Brandon, I guess I just want to make sure I've got the facts on this right, because it seems like one of those seminal moments where all of a sudden you realize everything is really different. Are you claiming, is ICE saying, your agency saying, that the city of Portland refused to protect you despite your request for protection because they didn't agree with your politics? They did. And, and unfortunately for, for the citizens of Portland, what they have to understand is now if they disagree with this mayor's position, there's a good chance that this mayor is not going to allow their police officers to support them if they feel like they're in danger from, from attacks or their physical person is in danger. And that is the wrong message to send. But Tucker, let's be clear, that's actually going to play in the favor of the conservatives because this is the kind of crazy talk that, can, that uh, rallies the conservatives to the cause that says we have got to stop this. And the vast majority of Americans Well, but believe... wait a second. Where's this... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Where's the Civil Rights Division of the Justice Department? They're denying equal protection under the law selectively to people whose politics they disagree with. I mean, that is a constitutional violation if there ever was one. Why aren't it, it they being arrested? And I'm serious. I mean, where is the Civil Rights well, Division on that? So, so right now, it's my understanding that it is currently under investigation with this mayor, this mayor's actions, um, their failure to uh, respond to the 9/11 calls. It's my understanding that they're under investigation. But you also have to look at what the mayor said. The mayor said that the that there is a federal law enforcement agency. Is the mayor concluding that the federal law enforcement agency has the right to enforce all of the laws, including the the laws of the of the city? There's supposed to be a separation between law enforcement agencies. And in this case, it was the, the Portland Police Department had the responsibility to enforce those laws that were being infringed upon. Um, it wasn't the, the responsibility of ICE to enforce those laws. It was the, it was the mayor's responsibility, yeah. and he failed the to bottom, do it. Look, the bottom line is, when an American citizen calls a law enforcement agency for help because he feels he's in danger, that agency has a moral and legal responsibility to come to his aid. And they didn't because they don't agree with you. And that's just, that's the beginning of the end if we allow that kind of, they should, I mean, that's out, that's totally outrageous. And just that's for the politics. third time to be totally clear, that's, that's, that's what that's happened. Today's, that's today's politics. And that's what we have to get beyond. And that's, again, right. it, it, it makes me happy when things like this happen because Americans, the vast majority of Americans disagree with these types of policies. And then we yeah, can get uh, people that care elected. It's unbelievable. Brandon, Brandon, thank you very much for that. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Tucker. Paul Manafer.